Hey guys, Triple R. Um, <clears throat> I went out for about three hours before. Just got back about 15 minutes ago. And I showed um, an area I found where there was a whole lot of like 308 plastic shells, which I believe were used by the military for um, training purposes and stuff like that. And I found also a lot of the metal clips that held them together. I thought that was pretty cool. So I've just assembled some. I'll just give you a little shot in the esky. I forgot to bring a um, container to put everything in, so I just stuck it in my spare esky. But now I'll take out some of the bits and pieces that I've assembled. I've um, placed the uh, plastic bullets back inside the metal straps, whatever you fucking call them, and um, joined them all back up together. How cool is that? I've got a lot of these plastic bullets, but <coughs> not the metal clips they come with. So, um, I know it's nothing. It's just cool. Uh, they'll look good hanging up on the shed wall somewhere, I reckon. And the only other thing I've got, I've really found fuck all lately, is uh, that's just a lead shot. I've scratched the surface so you can see it's shiny in there. It's quite heavy, knew it wasn't gold, thought it was lead, scratched it, yep, lead. So it's probably a solid shot from a shotgun that's hit something quite hard splattered into that shape. Oh, what else did I get? <clears throat> oh yeah, smaller, looks like mm, probably 303 or something. Don't really know me bullets that well. And the only other thing was, I don't know what, it's just mind-boggling somehow how things get into the bush, but that's the tip of an old light globe, I would say. One of the old bayonet types. Um, it's an oldie. Go off a good signal, probably because it's copper or brass or whatever it is. You can see the porcelain or whatever it is. I guess it's a um, an insulator on the inside. So to show you where I was, okay, there's my car, blah, 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 esky. Um, I went down the hill, way down that away and down the hill, across the track. I spent a, probably two or three hours all down, sort of travelling backwards and forwards in that direction once I got down the bottom and then spent another half an hour, <coughs> probably way back over that away further, and then the batteries went flat on the detector that I was using, which is a different one from my normal one. And I did have a spare battery pack, um, but it's since I've had it, which is a short time, I've never charged the batteries up on it. And before I came out here, which was yesterday, as I was packing up, or loading the car up with all my gear, I, um, I thought, shoot, I better charge up another battery pack for that new detector because I didn't know how much charge was left on the uh, original battery and I could only whack it on for about an hour and I don't know whether it's a quick charge battery or what but that went flat in about two minutes. So unfortunately I was only about half a k away which was lucky, I had to walk all the way back. <laughs> and uh, I read the manual which I've got here. Just the manual for the new e-track detector I've got, and it's quite thick. It's like reading Japanese half the shit. I don't know what they're talking about. But what I did realise is you've got to charge the battery for 18 hours. In other words, it's an overnight charge, so that's why it went flat so quick. So I was forced to come back. I've probably got, I think it's about 3 o'clock now. I can hear some dirt bikes in the background coming up.
I always try to stay far enough off the track that people can't see me, but dirt bikes go anywhere. They're very close. So I was forced to come back with no detector charged and I can't charge them up out in the bush of course. And I do have a, um, a socket for a cigarette lighter to recharge it up which I could have put it on and left it on all day and used it again tomorrow but <laughs> the combi doesn't have a cigarette lighter and fuck that anyway, I brought me other detector. I've got plenty of batteries for that. This one only takes four AA batteries and uh, they slot into the side of that. <coughs> That's the headphone jack. On the other side is where you put the batteries, and it only takes four of them, and I get three days detecting with that. And that's when I say three days, I mean three six hour days, like six hours full on detecting for three days. So it's pretty bloody good. So I'll just go back to my old detector. I've got probably. Being winter, no daylight savings, shorter days, I think it's about 3 p.m. now. I've probably got at least a couple of hours I can walk around. And even if it starts to get dark around 5-ish, it won't be fully dark, so I should be able to go for a fair hike and uh, have another go. So, till then, I'll see you later.